Hello dear viewers. A medium-sized mixed breed dog named Osito, little bear in Portuguese, resided with the owner. He was lavished upon and was loyal, well-mannered, and playful like all good dogs. However, that was before her friend passed away. He was left behind after that and had to deal with grief and loneliness, according to the pet needs. The small dog was described as friendly and sociable, making it sound like a pet that anyone would enjoy having at home. Life, however, goes on and isn't always very just. After the tutor passed away, Osito was gradually ignored until he found himself on the street of resentment. The dog never thought he would have to endure even harder days after having to deal with his sadness and longing for his best friend who was gone. While waiting for family to care for Osito, the tutor passed away. However, daily worries and a small amount of cruelty altered the course of events. Osito was gradually being overlooked. He was a bothersome dog to the family. Osito displayed all of his sadness in the initial days of the tutor's absence. He frequently sat still and waited, howled for extended periods of time, and even refused food. It was his way of expressing homesickness, everyone experiences grief in different ways, and each of those ways should be respected. Osito, however, started to annoy the family since he was loud, easily isolated, and unwilling to engage in conversation. The dog was left in the new house's backyard without being given permission to enter, which further complicated the matter. As long as there is sufficient cover and shade for the dogs, there is nothing wrong with keeping dogs in gardens and yards, especially large ones. However, it was a fairly significant adjustment for someone like Osito who was accustomed to a warm bed, games, and lots of cuddling before naps. Osito developed into a barking dog. He would frequently whimper in the corners. Along with missing the tutor, he was also miffed at not getting the usual cuddles and conversations. The owner's relatives had made promises to care for the dog, but they did not have the time to devote themselves to Osito. The less love and attention he got, the more reclusive he got. The new family ultimately made the decision to get rid of the problematic pet. Osito had simply been cast aside and left on the streets. The relatives threw the dog away like it was a useless piece of trash after forgetting what they had promised. Osito has always resided in Culiacan, the state capital of Sinaloa, which is located at the Gulf of California's entrance on Mexico's west coast. Although Culiacan is a sizable, sunny city, it proved to be terrifying for a spoiled little dog who had always lived inside. For nearly two weeks, the dog was left unattended. He was lost, unable to find food or shelter, vulnerable to battles with other strays, disease, and car accidents, Culiacan is a big city with about a million people living there. Osito quickly became hungry, skinny, and fleet infested The attacks of the animals with the highest street survival expertise also happened quickly. The dog also experienced an inflammatory condition that needed immediate attention. The Amigos Animalistas AC Foundation volunteers then arrived. Teams frequently patrol the streets of Culiacan, giving stray animals food and water. The organization also saves frightened cats and dogs. The foundation must pick the animals it accepts because it does not yet have a shelter. Rescued dogs and cats are kept in temporary homes until a family is found to adopt them permanently. But Osito's predicament was genuinely appalling. The dog was in dire need of help, and based on his current state, it was clear that he would not be able to last very long on his own. The new companion was taken to a veterinary clinic right away by the volunteers. The evaluation's findings weren't promising. On one of the hind legs, the swelling had caused a sizable abscess. Blood testing discovered a decrease in platelets. 
The dog tested positive for a parasite in his circulation and had severe anemia. Osito was saved at the perfect time. The abscess would need to be drained as soon as possible because the inflammation was turning into sepsis, generalized infection. Osito spent several days in the hospital at the clinic. The doctors used the opportunity to spay the dog. The charity shared Osito's story on social media while he was recovering. The dog gave a first-person account of the setbacks that had occurred to him recently. The posts assisted in raising money to pay for hospital and medical charges. Finding Osito a new home, though, was of utmost importance. The Duarte family, who reside in rural Culiacan, were given the option of establishing a foundation after several suitors came forward. The dog told in the previous entry that he now lives in a new home with a father, mother, and three additional four-legged sisters. He has plenty of room to play and many interesting new things to discover because he lives on a farm. We are outraged by the tale of abandonment. Thousands of other dogs and cats, like Osito, are houseless and on the streets, where they are vulnerable to sickness, fights, accidents, starvation, and the cold. It is possible to comprehend why some people choose not to or are unable to live with a pet. Every being is aware of its own readiness, or lack thereof, to accept a new being. But there is never a good reason to abandon someone. Dogs and cats can be donated to shelters or new owners who can care for them. It is illegal to throw an animal into the roadway. Friends, support my small channel with likes and subscriptions. Thank you for watching. See you in the next issues on the channel about our favorite animals.